Hello there, George here, and uh, kind of a little different project. Um, I've been promising myself for quite some time a new soldering iron, but I'm quite attached to my JBC station. Now, uh, with this JBC station, uh, some time ago, the iron on the right hand side, or left hand side, failed, and when I went to go uh, changed the tip on it. I, was, I had to put a new tip on it. The actual element crumbled in my hand. So what I ended up doing was th this side was a desoldering station. So I just converted the iron. I just put a, a normal solder tip on it and uh, disconnected the. He used to press this button here for the vacuum pump. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure that this is 24 volts. Okay, so I got this kit uh, on eBay, and this is supposed to be a knockoff or a copy of the the Hacker um, T12, where it takes these um, tip slash element all in one. And uh, this was around twelve quid or something. So I have a couple more tips ordered for this because, like, who is going to use that really? Um, you do a lot of harm with that. But um, I want to order a needle one and um, a small chisel one. So I'll have a selection. So we have this little board here. We have to put this together. Um, well, all we have to do really is we have to put the uh, put the socket on it. And uh, then I have to get down the, the JBC and uh, take it asunder and see about uh, voltage and whatnot. See what it runs off. And... Um, put it together and see where we go um, my friend Ray has one of these uh, I bought this before Christmas and um, I haven't done anything with it and I was down with him yesterday and uh, I was having a look at his one and uh, I said to myself I must get that put together so uh, yeah cool okie dokie let's get on with it right so I've made this, um, this little template for uh, doing the face so that'll help me when it comes to marking out uh, the front of that and let's turn that off now because I was using that to solder in the solder in this here I have the lead sorted out here now on the iron end and the plug end and uh, very special thanks to Ray the Jedi uh, for giving me a link to this uh, page here, which I will put in the description of this video Which uh, shows you in great detail if you read all the instructions um, How to do everything. Isn't that right Ray? Yep. Yep, so uh, there you go and um, Yeah, so it's simple enough and uh, have it all together now so it didn't work out with the JBC um, because the JBC one is uh, it's AC and uh, look I didn't have I don't have any regulators here that's why I didn't go around that uh, road so I do have a 24 volt uh, supply here one of those switch mode jobs so I'm just going to use that yeah go on when he's finished it'll look like that only different yeah, the same but different. Same, only different. <laughs> there you go. Live from Carlo. Here's the power supply uh, I'm going to use. It's a 24 volt, 20 amp switch mode. And I just uh, and just as I said it, the meter goes off. What are the chances? So we have her dialed down to 24 volts. Well, here's damn it. I can't get it exactly, but um, I've come to learn that those things don't really matter. So, next step now is to connect up the um, connect up the board to the power supply, which is quite simple. You've just plus and minus up there, and uh, we'll run that into the power supply and see does it work. So we have it jerry rigged here. We have our power supply uh, going to our board. Now we have the iron plugged into said board. So this is the first fire up. Um, let's see what happens. There we go. 
So let's see, is our iron hot? It works! It works! Ha! Yes! Well, why wouldn't it? So, uh, yeah. Right, need to build a case for it now. And, um, that's quite cool. Lovely. And this power supply will be more than capable of, uh, of driving it, so. There we go. Uh, I'll crack on and make a case now. The thing I really like about this iron is that you can see there, if you don't use the iron, iron for a period of time, it, it goes off, goes to sleep. And um, it has a little vibration switch um, on the PCB inside in the handle. So as soon as you move the handle, off she goes. see how quick it comes up to temperature there it's really fast I have it set to 340 there at the moment so um, next step now is to make a case um, to house this stuff in the power supply will be remote because uh, it won't it'll take up too much room and I am going to repurpose uh, one of these yokes I brought these home out of work that were being thrown out so uh, we'll rip one of them asunder and uh, we'll make a, a case f from it. So uh, some considerable time later, there we have our repurposed case and uh, some Dymo gold on black uh, labels and uh, yeah, I, I think that came out quite well now. I'm quite pleased with it. So the only thing I need now is to get myself a decent uh, stand. So we'll do that. But um, just to show you how fast this thing heats. That's it, up the temperature. So I just remote mounted the, uh, I just remote mounted the power supply in there, just for handiness, and it's uh, hung and cable tied onto the back leg of the table, so it's in out of the way there. And uh, I'm quite pleased with that now. I think that turned out well. Just said I'd put in this bit as well. Um, this is the main feature I really like about this iron because I'm a devil for going off and um, maybe leaving the iron turned on or whatever. So at least with this, it's it you know it's safe and it turns itself off and uh, it's not going to uh, burn out the element in the iron. So uh, I just think that's a cool little feature. And of course uh, the blue LED and uh, put some blue filter material in front of the in front of the display. So all I did was I just I took off the back panel and I scribed it out on a piece of steel and uh, decided where I was putting what and put it all together and painted it and so I'm quite pleased with it now. I think it looks okay, you know. So, uh, be interesting to see now, will the JVC get used at all anymore? But I won't throw it out because that's, that's a good setup. I have a plan to get uh, a tip, like a big uh, screwdriver type tip uh, for that thing. For doing real heavy work, so. There you go. We'll get you in the next one. All the best.